Hey, uh, Dr. Lindsay and Wendy here. Uh, this is a little update on a fine haired guy that we did about three years ago. And he flew 22 hours the other day to come back for another case, right? Yes, he did. He came from Bolivia. So uh, if you look at the picture, so if you look at the guy uh, before, he's got fine hair and he'd had a hair transplant in Argentina. Argentina. Yes. And uh, they spent likely sprinkled a little hair all over. Uh, he was convinced, and I'd forgotten this until we started making this, this video, he was convinced that this uh, hairline that he had had done uh, was good hair that would, would remain from down in Argentina. And if you look back at these pictures now, I think it, some of it thinned out. So we did uh, a frontal U, uh, which I've got a couple of videos on, but essentially we, we worked around that skinny tuft that he had three years ago and packed a bunch of hair in. And then at 14 months, when he was in the U.S. for something, uh, we got a few pictures of him. He looks pretty good. He went from fine hair, not much coverage, to reasonable coverage, yet still fine hair. Very natural. Uh, I'll show a picture of the back of his head. Uh, and he's got short hair, and he's got a pretty good scar by us. And a an Chrissy Crossy. An oblique Chrissy Crossy scar from some guy in, in Argentina. And so... I can never figure out why these guys get two or three different scars that don't, that aren't at least parallel. But uh, you know, then we didn't we didn't hear from him until about I don't know a couple months ago. He emailed he was going to be moving back to the U.S. for for a year, and so uh, he wanted to have a little bit more hair put in. And so uh, remember when we did him, we had done a frontal U. We had not done this tough because he said that he did that done in Argentina, but it looks like it, that didn't get done very well, right? Yes, our first case with him was just doing, um, we treated it as the hair that he had left was transplanted hair. Right. But, but three years later. Yeah, he had lost the tough, so. Yeah, so it wasn't like, it wasn't all of it transplanted. So we had to go and fix some areas. So when you look at this video coming up, you'll see that, uh, First of all, he's a very fine-haired guy. Uh, and next you'll see that the tuft right here where I'm, I've got some, still got some good hair. He is really thin there, and that's because that was partly his native hair and partly hair that was uh, put in in Argentina that went away. And then he's good back here where he worked before, so uh, when he came back, we went ahead and started behind where he worked before, and then we added some to his tuft. So take a look at his video real quick. Yeah, I mean, is it, so, uh, is it okay if I use your face to post yes, this thing? sure. So, uh, just to recap your story, and I'll go into more right. detail. You had a uh, hair transplant done in Argentina years ago, and it was too, too sparse, and then about three and a half years ago or something, wasn't it? Uh, in 2005, I had a, a one in Argentina done. And it just wasn't enough hair? It, it wasn't enough. Um, I think they, they, they spread it out too sparse, so when I had natural hair loss, it... it Right, you know, I need another one. And you get skinny hairs. Yeah. Right, right. And so right. you came in here, uh, when and, was it? And um, it was May of 2014. So three years ago. Right. And so uh, we did 2,084 graphs. I just looked back and uh, put the scar where it ought to be. I'll show your, your both your scars here in a second. And then you're mm -hmm. back today. I haven't seen you in three years. So right. you, my complaint is that you have fine hair and bend over one time. And just like a video I just put up this morning, you find here guys, typically I would start here and work back, mm -hmm. and I would encourage you, as we just were talking, chin up just a little bit, mm -hmm. to take a few hundred of those singles and just bolster this, this hairline. I, I know only a few things. I know it's going to get cold this winter, and I know that that's the right thing to do, but I'll leave it up to you. What it's going to cost you is you're probably going to have a little swelling for a few days, and you're going to have a little shock loss right there. But a year from now, I promise you, you and I will both be happier if you do that. But we'll talk about that tomorrow. Okay. So when do you run a comb through his head? Mm -hmm. And was that pretty upfront with you when you were here before? I guess it was because you moved 22 hours to get here today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that's a testimony. Yeah. And then spin around to the back there one time. So again, this is thin hair. And when you show his lower scar. That's Argentina. Yeah, that's an Argentinian scar. You can see that the needles, right. the holes were left in a long, uh, the suture were left in a long time. It left suture marks. And then go up and show mine. And mine's... I'd give it a B. You know, it's not the world's best scar. He's got kind of a tight head. Maybe a B plus. That's pretty good. And then, you know, some of you guys will say, well, why did you do a second scar? Well, because the first one's too crooked long. and it's too, damp, too, uh, too low. And so tomorrow, 
we'll use that my scar as his bottom edge of his new strip. And we're gonna have to go a little skinny because he didn't do as much stretching as we thought that was. But we'll get a bunch of good hair out of there and uh, assuming that he doesn't smoke anymore. That's I right. smell cigarette on your breath. Oh my uh, God. Man, you're, you're like my mom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, all right, so anything you want to add? You can turn back around. Anything yeah. you want to add? Uh, no. Pretty up front? Yeah, it's very up front. Bull crap it's very up front. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So uh, in that video, I'm sure you saw that that, that frontal tuft is just awfully puny. And again, I want to remind you, if you just tuned into this part, we didn't do that, but we hit it again this time. So next year when he comes, you know, before he leaves the country again, uh, he promised he'd spin by and let us take a, take, do another video. So we'll be able to give you a follow-up from our two hair transplants. To repair that first one. To repair the first one. And, and he said he will come. He came 20, you know, he flew 20 hours to come and see you for a second one. Yeah. He is very happy. It's, um, it, it looks very natural, too. It looks, he looks great. And it'll look even better when he has a little few more hairs up in the front that uh, we put in uh, this week. And then lastly, remember he was, uh, some of you viewers may have seen that uh, I just started uh, playing guitar again, and I had my first performance oh, a week or two ago, and I, so I've been making my employees and whatever patient we're working on that day sit and watch me play so that I can get over my stage fright. And I was playing for you, Wendy, and the Cutters, and our lawyer, and another patient, and this guy opens the door to come in, and uh, he's a guitarist in a band, so he gave me some constructive criticism, so yeah. a little trade there. So in summary, uh, if we can help you or you have, a, have questions, give Wendy or me a call. Thanks.